too. So what I was doing there is uh, removing the head and cleaning up the cylinder walls because I washed the engine and I taped all this off, but the pressure from the little Harbor Freight pressure washer uh, poked holes through it and all the water went in. So I had to do all that before it, the cylinder walls got really bad. We pressure washed the engine because it had a lot of oil and gunk all over the place. So we cleaned it up. It's gonna get messy again, so I'm not even gonna worry about that as long as I got most of it off to test fit the engine. Now let's get to work on making the motor mounts. All right, so this is the plan. I measured on the stock motor mount plates. It uses these two bolts and two bolts down here to hold the bracket onto the body. So what I did is I uh, measured the middle between these two studs and then I just drew a line roughly in the middle of everything. And then I'm hoping to make a 12 inch uh, bracket. So, you know, I measured six inches this way and six inches that way. And then um, I grabbed a piece of cardboard and I tried to shape it that way. And this is what I came up with. This was the hardest part, this little bend that the uh, body has and this one, but I got it pretty close. So this is gonna be, there's gonna be one here, one here, one here, and one here. And uh, once all three, you know, plates are where they should be, I'm gonna tack them and then I'm gonna take them off and weld them. Another piece, another piece should go here, but this one's really difficult. I'm having a hard time with this one. And then this one. Of course, they're all gonna be one foot long. This is roughly a foot from here to here. It's 12 inches. So the cardboard was a little bit shorter. All right, so. I'm done cutting this middle piece, finally. And all these gaps aren't too bad, because I'm gonna leave a little extra on the actual sheet metal. And then I'm gonna start, you know, grinding them down with the flat wheel. So there you go. All right, so this is the piece of metal I have. And I'm gonna trace them. I'm gonna lay them here. I wanted to line them up to these corners so I wouldn't have to, you know, cut these straight lines. But I think I'd rather do it like this and just, you know, trim on the sides as needed. And I'm about to lay them down. Something like this. cut out right now and I still need to clean them up I just want to kind of see where they're gonna sit I left a little bit I cut it outside the line so I left a little bit of extra meat right there just to shape it up see if it fits pretty good and this one's gonna go here just gotta start shaping them up All right, so this is my top piece. And it goes in, but we're gonna have an issue right here. And this isn't that bad. I could bend this side, just that this side is gonna be a little bit difficult because it has the stud sticking out. So I can't even drill the hole yet. 
or else that um, stud's gonna interfere and the angle's gonna be off also on the hole. But I'm gonna try to bend it here and then drill a hole and hopefully I, I get the right spot. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I did my first bend, placed it on the Jeep and I kinda got the place of where the bend should be. And I get it, it gave it a slight bend and I drilled my hole. I still gotta straighten this out. So now I'm gonna do the other bend. This is the front side. So I also did it in the back. And I'm gonna, this one's slanted, so I'm gonna do, give it a slight bend and then I'm gonna test it. And this is something I made with some um, angle iron. Two pieces of angle iron down here and one piece in the middle. And I kind of just welded them all together. And I didn't clean it up much, but. These two are for the middle. This is the bottom piece. So there's gonna be a lot of grinding and fitting. I still have to drill these two holes for the bolts down here. And then I'm gonna weld them all together. And then I'm gonna the two pieces together just in case if I have to remove them or anything you know before the final uh, weld I could just get the cut off wheel and cut those little tacks so now I'm gonna start working on this piece I think I'm gonna clean this up a bit or actually I'm gonna clean this one up a bit from the edges and then once it sits nice like right there and I'm attacking this is what I got so far everything tacked in place and this is pretty much going to be the motor mount plates the edges are all going to be cut straight hopefully in the chop saw or I'm going to see what I do about them in with the grinder, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna start burning them in and cleaning them up and all that, but I'm gonna cut the video here and I'm gonna upload this because it's been a while since we uploaded. We just been working on a bunch of different things, not just car stuff. But thank you for the people that are supporting and subscribing. Um, you could also follow us on Instagram we post a bit here and there on Yonke underscore OXC films. I'm going to leave that in the description below. So check us out. We post a lot of stupid stuff. Sometimes car related, sometimes it's not. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to get to work on this in the next couple of days. And then get this side done hopefully soon. Most likely I'm not going to record any of this. I'm going to start recording once I... Uh, start test fitting the engine so that's pretty much it i mean all i gotta do is just weld all this in uh clean them up paint them well actually i'm not gonna paint them i'm gonna paint them after i, I weld the other things on there which i did end up ordering some new ones because one of them i think it was this one. Oh yeah it's a little bit slanted i don't know if you guys could tell it's a little slanted so i didn't want to really struggle with the fitment so i just ordered a new set So this is the plan for this. I'm gonna cut them, whatever angle they go. You know, I'm gonna cut them out of cardboard. I'm gonna put this on the engine, bolt them on. And then once I do that, I'm gonna put some cardboard. And then 
shit. I had this light over here and it accidentally moved and it was already putting a hole through my I have to get a new one. I was gonna replace that either way. So once I cut them out of cardboard, I'm gonna chase the thing onto this, the shape. And then that should be where, you know, they're gonna sit. Whatever design, maybe it's like this, maybe like this, maybe like that. And then once that's done, I'm gonna weld these onto that. And then they're gonna be ready for paint. I'm also gonna box these in, just to add a little bit of extra strength. Not that it's needed, but since we are gonna beat the shit out of this Jeep, might as well do it. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.